Welcome to Breslin Arena in East Lansing, Michigan, and the Michigan High School Athletic Association State Basketball Championship Weekend. Up next, the Class D semifinal game between the Lions of Detroit Holy Redeemer and the Maple City Glen Lake Lakers. I'm Mark Crawford. Glad to have you along and glad to be joined by my buddy, uh, my buddy the old coach, Bill Brandell. William, uh, very quick. Quick setup for this one, if you would, Coach. Uh, today's officials, uh, very quickly, there they are getting set to call this ball game. Thrill for them as well. But very quickly, a little bit about these two ball clubs. This Ladies looks like a tempo Michigan ball State game. Welcome you to the Breslin uh, Student Event Center for this evening semifinal game. They score a lot of points. They got a lot Michigan of sides. And their whole offense is a lot. Class D boys basketball is, uh, tournament. The educational value of this event is more important than its outcome. Respect for others, including opponents and officials, is one of those values. There are no excuses for taunting and trash Rede talk. Remember, Redeemer's uh, whole offensive philosophy, uh, Mark, is one that uh, says they want now, everybody to get in the, the scoring part now. of the game. They want the everybody CD to touch the ball, and they want everybody to be able to shoot it. So uh, we're going to see kind of... Uh, well, you hate to call it Helder Skelder, but it's wide open offensive style basketball uh, out of the Lions of Holy Redeemer. Maple City Glen Lake, on the other hand, wants to see, uh, see things uh, kind of slow here in this ball game. They'd like to see a ball game under 50 points. Well, they sure would, and they've held a number of opponents uh, under 50 points this year. I think about 14 right now. And they're a team that's going to have to do that tonight, Mark. They're not as big as Holy Redeemer, and they're going to have to play great position under the boards. They're going to have to uh, keep the tempo slowed down. All right, let's run folks through the starting lineups for this one. Uh, for Detroit Holy Redeemer, the big guys up front, Parker, Jones, and Brand. And uh, that threesome, 6'4", 6'5", 6'8". They are all seniors. They have experience. And they were all here last year as Holy Redeemer won the Class D state title. Well, lots of experience and lots of size, and as we said, Mark, a team that really likes offense. And there, the rest of the Holy Redeemer bench. B.J. Pino, Cleveland, Jalay High and company. And they're the starters for Maple City Glen Lake. Leading scorer for this group, uh, uh, the forward, the number 44, uh, Jamie Mazurek. And they also get a lot of points out of that uh, group down low. And they got a great one coming off the bench. Number 52, you'll see in a moment there, down at the bottom, 52, Greg Aylesworth, 6'5", senior center off the bench, second leading scorer on this club. He's going to have to get in early, and he's going to have to do some damage against the big guys from Holy Redeemer. Well, you're right there. And once again, we uh, saw the uh, tremendous size advantage for Holy Redeemer. They're starting... Uh, front court 686564 starters for the Lakers 646363 but then as we said Greg Aylesworth at 65 comes off the bench and does a lot of damage in there also so you're not going to say the Lakers are tiny they've got some size but tonight they're going to be at a disadvantage as the players just stand on the floor gentleman in the suit there in the center of your picture is Steve Benavides, sixth year as a head coach for uh, Holy Redeemer. 94 wins, 47 defeats, and uh, led this club to the state championship uh, last year. Interesting that uh, three of the assistant coaches at Holy Redeemer, uh, also Holy Redeemer grads, as was uh, Steve Benavides. Records coming in, Holy Redeemer 21 and five on their season. Maple City Glen Lake, a sparkling 22 and three. Redeemer in the gold uniforms, trimmed in purple. Maple City Glen Lake in the black and gold. Boy, Glen Lake, a great athletic tradition coach. You and I have seen them in a number of MHSAA finals over the years. Well, we have. We've seen them at the Silver Dome, Mark, and we've seen them here uh, in the basketball tournament. We've seen them at the uh, volleyball tournament with their girls. So great athletic program uh, up there. Maple City Glen Lake. Redeemer controls the tip and will go on the offense first. Sellers at the point will fire it up. And we've got a 2 nothing ball game. Redeemer out quickly. And that first bit of defense, uh, definitely a zone for the Lakers as uh, they're going to try to make uh, Redeemer shoot from outside. Man-to-man -man defense for Holy Redeemer. Ball is knocked loose and out of bounds right in front of us. Good defensive play by Sellers, but ball caromed off his leg, and Maple City Glen Lake will keep it. 
Always a pleasure to come here and work at Breslin Arena. What a great facility for basketball. Lakers on their initial offensive possession. This one's loose. Sellers to the hoop for nothing. Steve Sellers has all four points in our ball game and Holy Redeemer out front for zip. Nice spin move inside, a lot of contact. Ball picked up by the Lakers. Follow won't go, it's out of bounds. I think Redeemer. I believe wasn't a real emphatic call down there, but it is. We'll see some full court pressure now from Maple City Glen Lake. Little diamond one trap, knocked loose. Two on one to the hoop and they miss the pop. Oh boy. The Lakers can't afford that, Mark. When they get the nice steal and break away, they gotta take advantage and convert it. Out of bounds, last touched by Detroit Holy Redeemer. Give it back to Maple City Glen Lake. We've played just over a minute here from the Breslin Arena in East Lansing. 4-0 your score, Detroit Holy Redeemer, the defending Class D state champs, trying to earn a trip back to the finals. Winner of this one will uh, take on Wyoming Tri-Unity Christian. The defenders knocked off Detour. First two of the game for Maple City Glen Lake. Rob Semple, the 6'3 senior, gets the Lakers on the board. Well, there's Redeemer basketball Ooh. transition to Brian. Well, that's breaking the press emphatically, Mark, and Bobby Brand slams it down. In transition again. Brand with the left hand, doesn't go. And good rebound hauled down by Glenn Lake. Jamie Mazurik is uh, working hard at both ends for the Lakers here early. And maybe one too many passes there for the uh, Lakers, Mark, as they had the ball right down uh, in the paint, actually, on the end line and uh, chose to uh, dish it once too often and got away. Another turnover against the Lakers. Holy Redeemer six, Maple City, Glen Lake two. Early action, Class D semifinals. And Redeemer trying to be patient with it. They'll fire up the three. Well, must be a two, must have had a foot on the line. As Steve Sellers has his third deuce of the game. And we're eight two, Holy Redeemer. Oh, what a nice back door. Bucket doesn't go, Brand with the block, a follow-up block, but a foul this time, gonna be called on Holy Redeemer's Milas Jones. Should be shooting, and Jamie Mazurik for Maple City Glen Lake will step to the line and get a couple. And our first foul of the uh, contest goes against the uh, Lions of Holy Redeemer. First personal and obviously first team foul. Six four senior Jamie Mazurik, leading scorer for this Glen Lake Club, averages about 17 a game. Gets them both, and this one's 8 4. Deep in the corner, just a two again, say the officials. Armelius Parker has his first two. Redeemer 10, Glen Lake 4. Well, if in fact this is a tempo game, Coach, the tempo belongs to Holy Redeemer right now. Ooh, nice move inside. Number Eric 24, Everson. Eric Everson. First two for Everson, four point game, Holy Redeemer 10-6. Well, been good entertaining basketball here early. We're not quite halfway through quarter number one. Sellers pull up jumper is off the iron. Offensive board by Holy Redeemer. And another board. Boy, Glen Lake can't afford to let Holy Redeemer get second and third opportunities. They'll run now. Lost the handle, and Parker comes down with it. We've got a foul. Well, the turnover, and then uh, Tim Zolman tried to make up for it and get it back. Mark gets called for the personal. Early numbers in this one. At this point, Holy Redeemer shooting about 58% from the floor. Maple City, Glen Lake, 33%. To the hoop, off the glass, Sellers doesn't go. The offensive board won't fall either for Travell Parker, and Glen Lake comes away. 
Good pass down low off the glass and in for Derek Poplinski. Maple City Glen Lake sharing the scoring load here and they are within two. Holy Redeemer 10, Glen Lake 8. 3 and 40 still to play in quarter number one. 15 footer no. There to follow up and punch it home is Steven Sellers. He's got eight. He'll be in double figures before the quarter's over. Well, he averages 13 a game, and uh, as you said, Mike, he's got eight already. Well, I tell you, if we expected that Glen Lake was going to come out here and play it slow, we were wrong, Coach. We were dead wrong. Don Miller willing to go up and down the floor a little bit with Holy Redeemer, and that's going to be three shots. Well, I was expecting the uh, full court pressure, uh, Mark, and then I expected to see that go by the wayside pretty quick, which it did by uh, Glen Lake, as they uh, just don't seem to have the quickness to stay man to man and give that full court pressure. But as you're mentioning, I also expected them offensively to slow things down a little bit and uh, try to keep the tempo in a little more uh, of a controlled situation. But they are, they're offensively uh, trying to stay right up with uh, Holy Redeemer. Jamie Mazurek will shoot three. Foul was on uh, Milas Jones. His second. And Milas Jones sitting down now. Into the ball game, Bronson Nichols for Holy Redeemer. Also in the game now, Greg Aylesworth has checked in, the big 6'5 senior for Glen Lake. All three free throws going. We've got a one pointer at 12 11. Good ball game, Coach. It is. It's a great ball game, Mark. And Glenn Lake with a basketball and a chance to take the lead. A couple of early turnovers here by the Lakers, or they would have the lead in this ball game. They played good basketball. Well, let's see if they don't try and get it in the hands of the big guy down low, Aylesworth, who's just checked in. Ball's knocked away by Bobby Brand. And Redeemer will hang on to the lead for now. 2.40 still to play first quarter from... Breslin Arena in East Lansing. Glad you're with us. Triple try. Off the iron. Board belongs to Glenn Lake. Poplinski has the rebound. And Glenn Lake again, a possession to take the lead. Knocked away again by Bobby Brand, out of bounds, and will stay with Glenn Lake. Once again, the quick hands by the uh, Lions of Holy Redeemer, Mark. Defensively, they uh, get in good position and then uh, have that ability to just snap out with a hand and knock the ball away, knock it loose. They've done that a number of times already. Corey Flaska now into the ball game for uh, Glenn Lake. And right to the hoop for the lead, doesn't fall in the rebound, Holy Redeemer. We got a foul. Whistle and a foul, I think, going to be called. Uh, it is on Glen Lake's Jamie Mazurik after he went to the hoop, missed the shot, committed the personal foul, fighting for the rebound. Well, Mazurik thought he was fouled. Mark is on the inbounds play. He made an excellent uh, drive down along the baseline and came up under the basket uh, to put the uh, little layup off the glass. And he thought he was fouled. Then as he reached back to try to get the rebound, committed the foul himself, and that one got called. Redeemer up by one and with the basketball. Brand's fadeaway doesn't go. Rebound is hauled down by Glenn Lake. Lakers have done a good job on the boards. And the Lakers with the lead. Corey Flaska, his first two. And Maple City, Glen Lake 13. Holy Redeemer 12. 90 seconds still to play in the first quarter. Down in the paint, this one's knocked loose and out of bounds. zone from Glen Lake on the inbounds play. They'll run a spread 2-3. They have to be happy anytime a 6-8 Bobby Brand is forced to stand outside the three-point arc. This is as patient as you're going to see Redeemer, I think. Huh. You took the words right away from me, uh, Mark. And they travel, heading toward the hoop. 
for Holy Redeemer, B.J. Pino. Took the little step before he put the uh, basketball to the floor. And Glen Lake has it back, leading 13-12. And I'll tell you what, Don Miller over there says, let's hold on to the ball, try and take a last shot. 105 still to play in the first quarter. And you know Don Miller and the Lakers would love to go into that first quarter huddle with a lead. Down the paint looking for a shot. Gets it to go and he's fouled. Jamie Mazurik off balance, heaved it up off the glass and in. He's fouled and will go to the line. Well, seven points right now for uh, Mazurik as uh, he's gotten five of those from the free throw line. He's hit five in a row from there, Mark. Let's hope I don't jinx him. But he just had the opportunity to shoot three a moment ago and made all three. Sixteen, twelve, a four point. Maple City Glen Lake lead here with 45 seconds left in our first. Pass on the wing to Brand goes out of bounds and the Laker crowd starting to make some noise. Their club up by four. Again, the winner will get to Wyoming Tri-Unity Christian. The defenders knocked off Detours Raiders 54-27. Impressive performance by Wyoming Tri-Unity. And Glen Lake running a little deal off a double stack. Six footer left side, bounces around and falls through. Rob Semple has four and it's a half dozen point lead. Brand off balance left hander. You see the score, four point lead, Maple City, Glen Lake, now down to 10 seconds left here in quarter number one. Well, a moment, a, moment, a moment ago, Mark, we were saying we're gonna hold for the last shot, and we scored seven points since then. Brand better <laughs> heave it. They'll get it off, I think. Would have counted, does not and go. First quarter, Glen Lake, 18. One Glen quarter. 14. Under our belts from Breslin Arena in East Lansing. And Maple City Glen Lake out front of Detroit Holy Redeemer 18-14. Red Bay Michigan takes place Saturday, all four final games of the 1996 Michigan High School Athletic Association Boys Basketball Tournament being televised live on pass throughout the state. Between basketball games on Saturday, the championship Video tapes of this ball game and all of the semifinal games here and final contests of the MHSAA Championship Weekend are available through advanced Video services, 5547 Columbiaville Road in Columbiaville, 48421. You see the phone number there, and uh, you'll want to allow several weeks for delivery, and please let us know which uh, class and game you are interested in. Alternate possession is the rule in high school basketball here in Michigan. The arrow's pointing Maple City Glen Lake's way, and so the Lakers will get the basketball to start quarter number two. Leading by four, backdoor high feed, count it. Jamie Missouri takes the high feed. He's in double figures, has 10. And Glen Lake 20, Holy Redeemer 14. Well, the Lions of Holy Redeemer got off to a great start here, scoring early and quickly. Had, uh, what, about an 8-2 lead, I think, Coach? And it's been all Maple City, Glen Lake since then. Yeah, Toward the hoop, good. Sellers doesn't make it go. Glen Lake on the run. Two on two, nice cross-court pass into traffic. Knocked away, but we've got a foul. Foul's gonna be on Bobby Brand, uh, his first personal. Third team foul now against the uh, Lions of Holy Redeemer. Really surprised, Mark. Uh, we don't want to beat a dead horse here, but the uh, Lakers really up-tempo offensively, and I expected them to slow it down, but they're getting a rebound, and they're headed up the other way.
Tim Zolman shooting the pair. And I tell you, from the free throw line, this is an impressive uh, show. They'll miss their first free throw right there, but what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of eight from the stripe are the Lakers, and they lead by seven, 21-14. Make it a five-point game as Milas Jones, the 6'5 senior, has his first two. <laughs> Coach the Lakers. Greg Aylesworth was down here under the basket by himself, just hopping up and down, saying, get me the ball. Triple goes. Jamie Mazurik putting on a show, has 13. And Mazurik a reach. That's two on Jamie Mazurik. And Coach Don Miller doesn't want him to pick up anymore. Well, not with the hot hand that he's had so far. Uh, you're right, Mark. Third team foul now against the uh, Lakers. Teams matched even in that category. And right now, Mazurik's going to take a seat on the bench. Eric Everson's going to check in. Don't know how long he'll sit down. Don Miller may just want to say, hey, want to make sure you know you got two fouls. Holy Redeemer's Armelius Parker with the two. Triple the other way for Glenn Lake. Extends the lead now to eight for the Lakers at 27-19. Brand with that little uh, left-hand jump hook again. 27-21. As we are seeing uh, up-tempo basketball right now, and it's working for the Lakers. There's some full-court pressure by Holy Redeemer. Ball's knocked loose. Aylesworth comes up with it and goes to the hoop. Greg Aylesworth, the two. You keeping up with this, Coach? I'm having a hard time here. <laughs> to be honest with you, Mark, I missed the uh, three-pointer. There's one right there. I got that one. Twenty-nine, twenty-four. Now thirty-one, twenty-four. Seven-point Glen Lake lead. Early second quarter. And any thoughts of a ball game that was going to hang around in the 50s uh, are fast disappearing. There's Milas Jones answering with two of his own for Holy Redeemer. 31-26. Well, what happened to defense, uh, Mark? There's two ends of this game. <laughs> Five-point lead for Maple City Glen Lake, and they have the basketball. And doing it right now with their... Leading scorer, Jamie Mazurik, sitting on the bench. Here comes Redeemer, and Holy Redeemer says, we need a timeout. At 31-26, Steve Benavidez wants to talk things over, and I'm betting, Coach, that's because we're doing a great job offensively if we're Holy Redeemer, but we're not doing much defensively right now. Well, the Lakers really beating Holy Redeemer down the floor in the transition game, uh, Mark. And uh, that's the difference in the game. The uh, rebounds, I would guess, are uh, going to be fairly even right now. A few more offensive rebounds for the uh, Lions, but uh, the turnovers uh, have smoothed out a little bit. And since the Lakers have been able to handle the ball a little better, they've been real potent offensively by getting down court and getting the quick bucket. Maple City, Glen Lake 31, Detroit Holy Redeemer 26. Interesting coach doing our uh, work on this one before the uh, ball game started. We don't often see a ball game where both coaches have won state championships, but we have that here. Steve Benavides uh, uh, won last year with Holy Redeemer, and Don Miller at Maple City, Glen Lake, title back in 1977. Well, we've mentioned these two teams, uh, actually these schools have uh, been around quite a while and have been successful in all the uh, athletic uh, uh, endeavors. They've had uh, a lot of success, not just in basketball, but as we've said earlier, uh, football and, and girls sports as well. Holy Redeemer with the basketball, down by five. Quickly set the lineups for you. Holy Redeemer has Parker, Jones, Sellers, Parker, and Nichols on the floor. Maple City, Glen Lake, Paplinski, Mazurik. Back in the ballgame now, Semple, Everson, and Zolman. There's a steal. 
And boy, there's going to be a goaltend, I think. Count the bucket, and we're tied at 31. Jamie Mazurek went up hoping for a board, got his hand in the way, and knocked at the basketball short of the rim. And we are tied at 31 with 4.30 to play in our first half. Mark Crawford, Bill Brandell, glad to be with you from Breslin Arena in East Lansing. Held ball, say the officials. The possession arrow pointing the way of Maple City, Glen Lake. And the Lakers will keep possession. Well, the Lions have come to life here in the second quarter by way of the uh, triple shot, uh, Mark. Three trays in this second quarter, and Milas Jones with nine points in this second quarter has uh, drawn things even here. Board for Holy Redeemers, Travell Parker. And the Lions look to retake the lead. Boy, there's a tough shot, not going to fall. We fight for the rebound, and up over the back is Holy Redeemers, Bronson Nichols. Coach, here's one I don't think we've ever had in a game before. Two of the starters for Holy Redeemer, Armelius Parker is the uncle of fellow starter Travell Parker. I think you're right. Ever had a nephew in a ball game? Here, yeah. <laughs> to the hoop goes Glen Lake's Tim Zolman. He's fouled, and he'll shoot a couple. Tied at 31. This has been up and down and a lot of fun, and now Glenn Lake says we need a timeout. As Coach Don Miller maybe wants to talk a little about the full court pressure Redeemer's putting on. Well, that foul on Steve Sellers, his uh, first personal. Fifth team foul now against uh, Holy Redeemer. Scoring leaders for you at this point, Holy Redeemer led by Sellers, who uh, got the quick points and has been hot here in the second quarter with a couple of trays. He's got 14. What do we have here? Milas Jones has nine. For Maple City, Glen Lake, 13 for Jamie Mizurek. And Semple has half dozen. Well, the Lakers still shooting uh, over 60% uh, mark on their field goal tries. And obviously, that's why they're still in this ball game with Redeemer and, in fact, led for a great deal of time. If you can shoot uh, over 60% uh, offensively, you're going to do okay. Yeah, Holy Redeemer shoot 54% right now. Glen Lake, 61%. And right now we're shooting free throws at the uh, Maple City Glen Lake end. Three pointers in this ball game, coach. Between the two clubs, five of six from beyond the arc. Nothing wrong with that. That's a fair shoot. Right. Zolman's free throw falls away. Maple City Glen Lake looking to retake the lead. We're tied right now at 31. And they're out front now. Zolman has two on uh, his day's work. Well, right straight to the hoop goes Holy Redeemer's Travell Parker. 6'4", 230, and he just went right straight to the iron. Moved some people out of the way as he sure went in did. there. Got his first two points. Ball's knocked out of bounds. Last touched by Redeemer. Now, last touched by Glenn Lake. Somebody got a hand in there that I didn't see, and Holy Redeemer up by one, 33-32, has the basketball back. Steve Sellers, leading scorer in this ball game, will try the three. He's wide left. And the leading scorer for Glen Lake, Missouri, boards. Sends it in the corner, partially blocked, but another foul. This one's on Bobby Brand, and is that two on Brand or three? Second personal on Bobby Brand. And we'll shoot free throws again at the Maple City Glen Lake end. That's the seventh team foul against the Lions. Substitutions now. Sobush is in for Maple City Glen Lake. I'm sorry, for uh, Holy Redeemer. Yeah. 
Flaska in the ball game now for Glen Lake. Rob Semple makes one of two from the uh, charity stripe. And we're tied once again at 33 all. Been a great ball game, 3.30 still to play in our first half from Breslin Arena, 33-33. Holy Redeemer and Maple City Glen Lake. And Holy Redeemer gonna run a little three-man game out beyond the arc here. Free throw line jumper will go for Milas Jones. Jones having a great second quarter. He has 11 here in the second quarter after being shut out in the first. Got the two fouls early, had to sit down and has come back with a vengeance. Well, like Corey Flaska comes in and plays hard for Maple City Glen Lake. Nice ball handler, trying to make things happen. Glen Lake tries to drop it down low to Aylesworth. And got kind of moved out of position there as the ball was in the air. Redeemer by two and with the basketball. Oh. Down Ooh. low and let's see, we got oh, a push. Boy. And it's an offensive foul. Well, I had to wait for him to call it, but that's what I saw, Mark. Uh, that time, Travel Parker just uh, moved his uh, defensive player out of the way and then went down to the baseline and uh, was, of course, wide open for the bucket down there, but you can't do that to get yourself free. And we're gonna shoot one and one down at the Maple City Glen Lake end. Eight team fouls against Holy Redeemer. And Jamie Mazurik will step to the line. One and one. Well, this guy's a shooter, isn't he? He certainly is. That free throw line, he is owning that spot. And we did it to him. We did, as usual. Got a whistle and I think a foul gonna be called as they fight for possession. It'll be on Glen Lake's number 42, Derek Poplinski. Just four team fouls on uh, Maple City Glen Lake. 35-34, Redeemer by one. And the Lions have the basketball. And out front, Steve Sellers drags his feet a little bit, gets called for the travel. Seven turnovers in the game against uh, Maple City Glen Lake. Six by Holy Redeemer. Into Aylesworth. Takes it in the paint. Nice little puppy hook doesn't fall and Redeemer will run. Count the two, Armelius Parker has half dozen now, and Holy Redeemer up by three. Thirty-seven, thirty-four. Greg Aylesworth answers. He's got four now. One point game again. Hey, you can't look down, coach. Somebody will score here. Triple exactly. try, not going to fall. Fight for the board and grabbed by Holy Redeemer's Armelius Parker, but he steps on the uh, sideline. And Glen Lake will get it back. 125, all that remains in our first half, 37 36. Holy Redeemer. And the Lions in that full court press. Substitution now. Bobby Brand will check back in. And that's Mark Sobush who will take a seat on the bench. Got a reach, easy call, Milas Jones. Had his hands on the hips and reached across for good measure and picked up number three. Three fouls on Milas Jones now. He's the uh, hot hand here for the Lions in this second quarter. 11 points. Again, he's going to have to sit down. Sat down a lot of that first quarter, Mark. They're going to miss him out there offensively. Nine fouls on uh, Holy Redeemer. 
in this half. Glen Lakes uh, Zolman shoots the one and one here, but the next foul on Holy Redeemer will be the tenth and will be an automatic two-shot foul. 37-37, 115 left here in our first half. Turn around and the paint won't go, and Glen Lake wants to run. There's a reach, and we'll shoot two. From behind the reach, and Jamie Mazurik, who has been uh, murder at the free throw line, we're gonna get two. Sellers has his second foul for Holy Redeemer. Well, this is a guy you don't want at the line. <laughs> so far, that's sure the case, you're right. Seven of eight now. Eight of nine. And nine of 10. And Glenn Lake back up by a couple, 39-37. Long triple off the iron, and there for the board is Missouri. Boy, he's a great all-round player. He's got eight rebounds in this game to go with his 16 points. Well, he's done a great job of getting position, Mark, to get those rebounds. He doesn't stand as tall as his opponents out there, but certainly is a schooled basketball player, well-disciplined, gets that position, blocks out, gets those rebounds. Glenn Lake will try the three. Off the iron and Redeemer boards down by two with 25 seconds left. First half. Ooh, a wide open uh, Traval Parker down under the bucket, but uh, Sellers didn't see him, Mark. Boy, the great chance for the lob and the dunk. Well, Redeemer gonna be content to take the last shot. We've got 10 seconds now. Armelius Parker on the drive to Sellers. Good dump pass down low, shot is blocked, but we've got a foul. And we're gonna watch Travel Parker go to the line. Well, they go down to the big guy, 6'4", 230 pounds. And Parker got a man on his hip, but uh, two or three. Glen Lake defenders collapsed on him, knocked the ball away, but fouled him in the act with one tick remaining here first half. And Travel Parker, should he hit a couple here, could uh, send us into the locker room deadlocked at 39. And it's Tim Zolman called for the foul, his second personal. Substitution uh, before we shoot the free throws. Semple will check in. Mazurik will sit down just to make sure he doesn't pick up a cheap foul. Free throw's not going to go for Parker. Missed them both, the tip doesn't fall, and we have reached the half from the Breslin Arena. And it's a good one. Maple City, Glen Lake, 39. Detroit Holy Redeemer, 37. with us, Class D semifinal contest. You see our score at the half. Maple City, Glen Lake out front of Detroit Holy Redeemer by a couple, 39-37. My name is Mark Crawford along with the old coach, Bill Brandell and William. Very entertaining first half of basketball. Well, it was entertaining, Mark, and it was an interesting uh, uh, first half. Not what you and I expected at all. Not at Very all, Very much right. a, an up-tempo game on the part of both teams. Now, we expected that out of the Lions of Holy Redeemer, but we really expected a lot more defense out of the uh, Lakers of Maple City and maybe a little more controlled offense, but no, no, no. We were wrong, and we saw both teams up and down the court 
and uh, really going after it offensively. Statistically, very interesting first half of basketball as uh, Detroit Holy Redeemer got off a dozen more shots than did Maple City Glen Lake. And the shooting percentage is really very similar. 50% from the floor for Holy Redeemer, 54% uh, for Maple City Glen Lake. And so you think with that dozen more shots, Holy Redeemer be way out front. But what swung the uh, tide back in favor of Maple City Glen Lake was the free throw line. Well, it was. The uh, uh, Lakers with 13 of 18 from the charity stripe, so they outscored uh, Holy Redeemer 13 points just at the free throw line. Yeah, Holy Redeemer 0 of 2 from the free throw line. So two free throws shot by Holy Redeemer, 18 by Maple City Glen Lake. And that's got the Lakers still in this ball game. In fact, up by two as we get underway here second half. Same 10 who started the ball game on the floor are out there now. Parker, Parker, Jones, Brand, and Sellers for Holy Redeemer. Poplinski, Missouri, Semple, Everson, and Zolman for Maple City, Glen Lake. And Glen Lake, tough shot down low from six, doesn't go. Follow-up is going to bounce around and not fall. And the rebound going to be dragged down by Steve Sellers of Holy Redeemer. Sellers has a team high 14, got things going early, had eight points right off the bat as uh, Holy Redeemer took an 8-2 lead early. Maple City Glen Lake uh, hung around for a while, then got off on a big run, hit five shots in a row at one point to take a uh, lead of as many as eight points at one stage. There's that high feed back door in it this time and not able to make it go is uh, Missouri. Then Holy Redeemer regrouped, put a little press on, came back, took the lead, and Glen Lake solved the press. Fired home a couple of triples, and they retook the lead. Ball is out of bounds. Boy, and Mark, the well, I like say, this uh, Jamie Missouri for uh, Glen Lake. He is all over the floor. He's been down on the floor, I'll bet, uh, six, eight times already, diving for balls, and he just plays the uh, entire court. Redeemer basketball trailing by two. We've played a minute 45 of this uh, second half, and nobody scored. I doubt we ever win a minute 45 without somebody scoring in the first half. You are right. And we have our first personal foul now called in the uh, second half. It's going to be on Travel Parker, his second personal and the first team foul in this uh, second half. Maple City, Glen Lake 39, Detroit Holy Redeemer 37. Heading for the steal, Holy Redeemer's Armelius Parker picks up the foul. As the Lions are picking up where they Holy left Redeemer off in the first half. Three. They committed, uh, what, 10 of them in the first half. They got into the double bonus situation uh, right, Mark, and uh, now they have two real quick ones here in the first two minutes of our second half. reach and boy that's not a foul that Jamie Mazurk's going to be very happy with himself about and that was uh, not a smart reach he knew it right away coach you saw it on his face and he hopped up and down and banged himself on the head and said boy I shouldn't have done that well I just got through saying that's a young man that uh, I sure wouldn't want to have to put down on my bench if I was the coach at uh, Maple City Glen Lake as Mazurk to me has been the real spark plug out there he takes the ball the uh, court the length of the court for the uh, Lakers, and he does his job rebounding and scores as well. 16 points in this ball game already, and he's going to have to sit down for a while. Yeah, he's down. I don't know if you noticed, Coach, but Milas Jones has picked up his fourth now for Holy Redeemer. And Milas Jones, who has 11 points in this ball game, is sitting down for Redeemer. Missouri with 16 is sitting down for Maple City Glen Lake. Bobby Brand with uh, that little left-hander again has eight. And we're tied at 39. Took us two minutes and 40 seconds to score a bucket here second half. Brand has just picked up his third personal foul. Well, Tim Zolman found a wide open lane to the bucket. Mark went right down to the hoop and nothing Bobby Brand could do was but to swat him out of there. And he didn't just swat the ball. He swatted uh, Mr. Uh, Zolman as well. Made sure he didn't get the two points. 
Well, and just as Don Miller was not happy, I'm sure, about the foul committed by Jamie Mazurik, you can bet Steve Benavides not too happy that Bobby Brand just picked up number three. And I will bet he'll go tell that young man next time when you got two fouls, just let him go and give him the layup. And the Lakers continue the uh, good shooting from the free throw line as uh, Zolman hits his first. Fifteen of twenty now as a team from the charity stripe in this one. Seventy-five percent. Back in the ball game now. Jamie Mazurik for Maple City Glen Lake. Going to play with his three personal fouls. 41-39, Glen Lake by two. Toward the hoop, nice scoop and shoot move, doesn't go, fight for the board, let's see what they do. No basket, personal foul to be called. Travell Parker wrestled the basketball out of there and before he could put it off the glass and score, he was fouled. I think it's on Paplinski. Be his second personal foul and second team foul against the Lakers. And Holy Redeemer inbounds uh, out front of their own hoop. Little runner off the mark. Rebound uh, briefly in the hands of Aylesworth. Lost it off his leg out of bounds. And Holy Redeemer will inbound uh, right where they did about 15 seconds ago. Triple try off the mark. Down underneath, Holy Redeemer's got it again. Ball is swatted away. Lions get it again. We got a foul on the shot. And Bronson Nichols will shoot a couple. And number 40 will pick it up, Tim Zolman. That's going to be his third personal mark. And now three team fouls against the Lakers in this uh, third quarter. Well, after a half in which the uh, basketball was falling through the cylinder, Every 20 or 30 seconds, we have had a slow start here in this third quarter. We played about three and a half minutes, each club with one field goal. That's not actually even true. Maple City, Glen Lake with no field goals. They have a couple of free throws. Each club has two points. Now Bronson Nichols at the free throw line. Hits a couple for Holy Redeemer and ties things up at 41. First two of the game for Bronson Nichols. First two free throws of the game for uh, the Lions of Holy Redeemer. Oh, great pass down low. The two belongs to Derek Poplinski, but Jamie Mazurik with a great feed. Two point Glen Lake lead. Dribbles baseline. Lost it out of bounds and give it back to Maple City, Glen Lake. Two very different offenses, Coach, as Glen Lake running a lot of cutters, sending folks through the lane, trying to hit people on the pass. Knocked out of bounds and last touched by Glen Lake, say the officials. Holy Redeemer, on the other hand, with three guys outside the arc, trying to move the ball around the arc and then somebody making something happen uh, uh, either one-on-one -on -one from beyond the arc or hitting a posted player down low. Glen Lake by two, but uh, Holy Redeemer with a basketball. Surprise, Sellers didn't fire it up from over there. He likes the three. Got a foot on the line, would only be a two, doesn't fall, and Glen Lake boards. That tight zone from Glen Lake is really giving Holy Redeemer trouble now. 43-41, Glen Lake by two. Boy, high, Archer is off the mark, and Nichols boards. Holy Redeemer in transition. Missouri. Just grabbed his 10th rebound, scored his 18th point, and will go to the line. Well, once again, Missouri at the offensive end, Mark being very potent and getting that layup and drawing the foul at the same time. Down at the defensive end, though, he had to play a little bit soft because of his three fouls, but very aggressive then on the boards and was able to get the ball off the board to take it the length of the court again and make that driving layup and draw the foul at the same time. Great bit of play. I'm really impressed with Jamie Missouri. 
Largest lead in this ball game for Holy Redeemer was six early on. Largest lead in this one for Glen Lake was eight, midway through quarter number two. Right now it's a four point Glen Lake lead at 45-41, with 2.55 still to play third quarter. Substitutions for both ball clubs. Brand is back in for Holy Redeemer. Five on the floor for Holy Redeemer. Nichols, Parker, Sellers, Jones, and Brand for Maple City Glen Lake as you watch Missouri hit the free throw. He's got 19 now. Missouri, Poplinski, Everson, Zolman. And who am I missing? Well, I'm not sure. We'll check again in a moment. That one bounces around and finally falls through. Milas Jones with four fouls is back in the game and he's got 13. Glen Lake, the triple. Emerson has the three. He's got eight. Second tray of the game for Eric Everson. And it's 49-43. Down in the corner, Bobby Brand, the 6'8", 205-pound senior. Now in double figures, he's got 10. Brand had, what, 32 against Fowler in the quarterfinal game? Another triple. Eric Everson makes it a seven point Glen Lake lead. And Everson has 11 points now in the ball game. Well, there's a tough shot, offensive foul on Redeemer. And Milas Jones unhappy, yanks out his jersey, spins away from the official. And I think Milas Jones is about to take a seat for a moment or two. Well, I think you are right. In fact, is that number five? Well, I have five if, if that's on him. As you corrected me a moment ago that Milas Jones had four, but according to the uh, official scoreboard, he has four now. Well, we'll have to check our foul situation here now, an offensive foul the other way. Other way. According to the stat man, Jones has four, Parker and Brand three apiece, Sellers and Nichols two. Well, now I don't know who the offensive foul on the Lakers is, uh, is against either, uh, Mark, and if that was on Missouri, he will have four. He's sitting down now. 90 seconds left to play here, third quarter from Breslin. Sellers on the drive, doesn't go. They'll fight for the board. Brand picks it up and lays it in. Maple City, Glen Lake leads by five. Brand has a dozen. Got a whistle and a foul away from the basketball. Looks like it's on... Uh, that's on Travell Parker, that'll be Travell his fourth. Parker. Yeah, that's four on Parker. Well, we got that one right anyway here. Parker and Jones with four, Brand with three. You got a lot of X's in that book of yours. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Maple City, Glen Lake to inbound under their own basket. Well, they got a triple try in the corner. Good. Corey Flaska has five. And an eight point lead for Maple City Glen Lake equals their largest to the game. Long triple doesn't go for Holy Redeemer. Brand gets it back, misses the glasser. Fight for the board, not gonna go and Brand trips it up and in. Bobby Brand has eight here in the third quarter, 14 on the game. And it's 55-49 with half a minute to play. Maple City, Glen Lake would like to take the last shot of this third quarter, up by six. I don't blame them. Oh, momentarily. Holy Redeemer had their hands on the basketball. Steven Sellers filled a lane, got a big paw out, and grabbed the basketball, lost it out of bounds, and Maple City, Glen Lake will inbound under their own basket, 15 seconds left third. 
over in the corner. They were going to fire up the bomb, but standing on the sideline was uh, Eric Eberson with 11 seconds left in our third quarter. I'm not sure Don Miller wanted that shot anyway. As now Redeemer with a chance to take the last shot of the third. Steve Sellers drops it in the corner. Long jumper doesn't go. The follow-up is after the horn. And at the end of three here at Breslin, Maple City Glen Lake, 55, Detroit Holy Redeemer 49. And the defending Class D state champions down by six. Well, once again, a very interesting ball game, Mark, as the scoring pace definitely slows down here in the third quarter. But again, very competitive on the part of both sides. It's just that the ball not dropping so much. We had some great uh, shooting statistics at the end of the first half, and I would bet uh, if we take a check uh, that things might be dropping a little bit here. Yeah, Maple City Glen Lake is uh, still shooting about where they were before, Coach, uh, for the ball game. They're 17 of 32, 53%. Holy Redeemer, 22 of 52, just 42%. Holy Redeemer has uh, found 20 more shots than Maple City Glen Lake, and yet they trail by six. From the free throw line in the ball game, Maple City Glen Lake, 16 of 21. Holy Redeemer, two of four. Well, a great third quarter by Bobby Brand beginning to uh, dominate. Bobby Brand is the 6'8 senior for the uh, Lions of Holy Redeemer. And he has three personal fouls, but now just one quarter to play. And he's going to have to uh, be dominant once again in this fourth quarter if uh, the Lions of Holy Redeemer are going to get back that uh, six-point deficit that they've built here. here as we see one of the officials going over and I don't think somebody the, uh, holy didn't get checked in. team had checked in here yeah. to uh, begin the final quarter yeah there's a point at which it's too late to check in right great play off the inbounds pass and Missouri has 21 and draws the foul to go along with it mark Glen Lake has uh, done a great job when they find themselves in that half court situation and allowed to set up a play. They've run a lot of back doors, some high feeds, just doing a great job of back screening Holy Redeemer players and finding their way, way free toward the hoop. There's a rarity as Missouri misses a free throw. 21 points for Jamie Missouri. He's the leading scorer in this one. His club, Maple City Glen Lake, up by eight as we uh, are early. In the fourth quarter, Jones, Brand, Sellers, B.J. Pino, and Nichols, the five on the floor for Holy Redeemer. Poplinski, Missouri, Everson, Flaska, and Aylesworth on the floor for Maple City Glen Lake. And the Lakers lead by eight and have the basketball. Ball knocked away briefly by Pino. Boy, now in the corner, he's got him pinned. Good job, though, by... Uh, Corey Flaska got rid of the basketball and uh, got a foul or a travel? I think we had a, uh, right, a travel before. There definitely was a foul, but the uh, floor violation before the uh, foul was called. Give it back to Holy Redeemer. And then I thought uh, Glenn Lake was calling a timeout also, Mark, but they did not. Lions get it down low. Nice job by Steven Sellers, protecting the basketball with the elbow and the body. Lays it off the glass, gets the two, and will go to the line. 16 for the junior Steven Sellers. And now we got the timeout. 
as Maple City Glen Lake wants to talk things over. And Greg Aylesworth called for the foul down deep uh, underneath there on Steven Sellers. Sellers got the ball to drop for his two and has the opportunity for the three-point play here. And it's uh, Aylesworth's first personal foul and fourth team foul now on the Lakers. Coach, I'm going to be the one who told you so. This game's going overtime. You're also the one that was going to tell me that uh, when I picked Holy Redeemer to win this that I should think about it a little bit. Maybe I didn't think enough. 57-51, <laughs> Maple City, Glen Lake by half a dozen. Seven minutes still to play in this fourth quarter. Mark Crawford, Bill Brandell, glad to be with you from Breslin Arena. Ian East Lansing, winner of this one again, gets Wyoming. Tri-Unity Christian, the defenders of Tri-Unity Christian, knocked off Detours Raiders 54-27 in the other semifinal. And Tri-Unity Christian, a very impressive ball club, uh, Mark, as they played in our hometown uh, as part of their uh, road here. Played at uh, Lakeview High School. Down in Battle Creek. Played the, uh, what is it, the Ann Arbor Green Hills? Green Hills, I think. And impressed the Battle Creek folks. Steve Sellers, 6'1", 165-pound junior guard for Holy Redeemer. Will step to the line, bags his 17th point in this one. He's had an impressive ball game. 17 points, four rebounds, number of assists. Played a good ball game. Five-point game here, 57-52, and Holy Redeemer trying to turn up the defensive pressure. Little reverse layup doesn't fall there for the board as Aylesworth and has the two. Well, a couple of offensive boards for the uh, Lakers, and that's the kind of effort they're going to need to keep their lead. They are uh, a lot shorter standing on the floor than are the Lions of Holy Redeemer. Triple by Holy Redeemer's Milas Jones. Well, if you're 6'5 and you can hit the tray, you're a weapon. Four-point game, and there's a steal. Milas Jones will go one-on-one -on -one to the hoop. Lays it in. We got a two-point game. And here's one of those classic spurts by teams that are up-tempo offensively, Mark. You and I have seen that for years and years. These teams that like to run the floor will get on a streak and run eight, eight 10, 12 points on you before you can hardly blink. Some of the emotion, you are right. They're going to keep the bucket. Oh, my, Jamie Mazurik faked it right, took it into the paint, shot it off the glass, picked up the foul in the two. Boy, he's played a great ball game. Foul's going to be on uh, Bronson Nichols. That's now the eighth team foul against the Lions. Of course, just one shot after the uh, make of the bucket by uh, Missouri. But the Lakers will be in the bonus for the rest of this fourth quarter. Jamie Missouri drops in the free throw, has 24 points, and it's again a five-point Laker lead. Holy Redeemer takes it to the hoop. They miss, but Brand is there to follow. Oh, nice follow by Brand. Nice tip. 16 points on the uh, evening now for Bobby Brand. Back to a three-point game at 62-59. Lakers by three, and they have the basketball. Missouri goes toward the hoop, lays it off the glass and in. Boy, he's very hard to stop one-on-one. -on -one. And you can see that's who the Lakers want with the basketball every possession now. 64-59, Glen Lake. There's another triple for Holy Redeemer. Stepping on the end line as he tried to save the basketball was uh, Travell Parker. Get to Glen Lake. Still plenty of time in this one. 5:03 on the Breslin Arena clock. Glen Lake 64, Holy Redeemer 59, and. Holy Redeemer wants to talk things over. Well, we've been saying it all evening long, Mark, a very interesting ball game. Just not what I expected at all. Uh, you think of the uh, uh, slower team uh, with the, the lower point totals for the uh, year coming up against a high-powered team, and you just expect uh, one team to want to slow it down, but not so tonight. 
And if you'd like a videotape of this one or any of the ball games in the semis or finals here from Breslin Advanced Video Service, glad to help you out. 5547 Columbiaville Road. The address, Columbiaville, Michigan, 48421. Well, you can call them at 810-793-8889. There's a look at some of our Breslin crowd. You know, it's not just our sense that the Lakers would be the team that wanted it slower. Everything we look at in terms of their season would suggest that too, as Glen Lake has prided themselves in holding clubs uh, 50 points or less. In fact, have held uh, 14 opponents this year under 50 points. Holy Redeemer, on the other hand, has uh, scored more than 80 10 times this year. Another seven uh, or eight ball games where they scored 70 plus have only been below 60 twice all year. And so you had the sense coming in that Holy Redeemer would be the one that wanted the 70 or 80 point game and Glen Lake might like to control the tempo a little more, but not so Don Miller and the Maple City uh, Glen Lake Lakers more than willing to go up and down the floor here. And they lead right now 64-59 with just under five minutes still to play. Glen Lake in the black uniforms, trimmed in gold. Holy Redeemer in the gold and purple. Two really fine basketball teams, Coach, and I guess uh, you're going to say that about anybody who makes it to this level in the tournament. But looking over again their seasons, Holy Redeemer lost five ball games this year. One was a forfeit. The other losses to Borges, to Cabrini, and twice to Benedictine, and uh, nothing wrong with any of those ball clubs. In fact, in the losses, they scored 71, 72, 72, and 75 points. Maple City, Glen Lake lost to East Catholic, who was ranked number one most of the season, uh, and then lost twice to Manton, a club that uh, is in the C championship game already here at Breslin. Steve Sellers, Steve Sellers picking up uh, another point, uh, or another bucket here in the fourth quarter. Runs his total to 19 on the night now. Three-point game, 64-61. Down low, Aylesworth goes to the hoop. He's fouled, and that will be number four on Mr. Brand. Well, we had a lot of fouls racked up early in this contest uh, for the Alliance of Holy Redeemer, but so far, nobody has been forced to leave the ball game as those fouls have been spread out. But uh, I notice now that Bobby Brand will take a seat. We have uh, just over four minutes left in this contest. I'll bet he isn't gonna be over there very long. I think you're right. Actually, we've had a lot of folks forced to leave the ball game. It's just been temporary so far. Temporary, right. Nobody's had to leave permanently. 4.08 to play. Glen Lake 64, Holy Redeemer 61. Aylesworth at the line for the Lakers. And they have been tough from the charity stripe all game long. Eighteen of twenty-five for the ball game. Seventy-two percent as a team. Pull-up jumper going to bounce around and not fall. The tip won't go by Parker. Ball comes away and uh, into the hands of Jamie Mazurik, who is fouled and will step to the line and shoot. Reginald Gardner picks up his first foul of the ball game. Once again, Jamie Mazurik, uh, Mark, just gonna be an exhausted young man when uh, he gets uh, through with this contest. He has just been a workhorse tonight for the uh, Lakers. Well, you were right about Bobby Brand's stay on the Holy Redeemer bench being a short one. He's up back at the scorer's table and now checking back into the ball game. I watched Bobby Brand over on the benchmark. Actually, I think he had a bloody nose. Got some contact there, and I think that's why he sat down, not the uh, foul situation. Mazurek with that uh, big arcing free throw up and in. guy has, has taken 15 free throws in this game. 13 of 15 from the charity stripe is Jamie Missouri. 28 points so far, Mark. Six point lead for Glen Lake and off the Redeemer miss, they've got the basketball. And with 3.30 to play, do you reach a point where we might see Glen Lake take a little air out of the ball? Well, we've been expecting them to do that. Oh, what a nice play. Oh. Great back door, doesn't go. And 
and standing on the end line as he bats the ball inbounds was Tim Zolman. Oh, a great backdoor play, Mark. That's a thing of beauty. Missouri didn't count it or didn't get it converted, but what a nice play. And Holy Redeemer wants a timeout. As I would guess Steve Benavidez saw what we did, that uh, may well be that Maple City Glen Lake's going to step back and run what we used to call a 90 offense, where the only thing we're going to take is something that's a 90% shot, some kind of a layup. Well, we're just under three and a half minutes left to play, and with a six-point lead, possibly we will finally see the slowdown. I don't know, though. That makes me nervous. That's still a lot of time to begin to change your tempo when you've been as, as successful as the Lakers have been. I think in their favor on that same note, Mark, is their ability to uh, be so potent from the free throw line that if they do begin to run the clock down and they are fouled by uh, the Lions of Holy Redeemer, uh, that might be where they want to be and where they'll want to get their points for the rest of this ballgame. Well, and one of the things that uh, was true in the first half is true here in the second half as well, and that is uh, Holy Redeemer double digits in terms of the fouls. And so with 10 personal fouls already, every foul by Holy Redeemer will uh, result in two free throws for Maple City. So there are no one-on-one -on -one situations, and uh, Holy Redeemer probably can't help themselves a lot by committing fouls. Well, we will see as the team's uh, back on the court now after the timeout. Holy Redeemer basketball, 325 to play, trailing by six as the Lions try to repeat as state champions. Nice offensive board by Sellers up and in. And he's across 20 now, 21 points for Sellers to go with seven rebounds. And it's a four-point game. Glen Lake gets it to Missouri. Going to try a triple. Oh, my, the trade from the corner. So much for slowing it down, Coach. They're going to fire it up. Solman's. I don't know. Mark, do we know anything about basketball or not? <laughs> hey, this is fun. Three the other way for Holy Redeemer. Doesn't fall. 70-63, it's a seven point Glen Lake lead with two and a half to play and Holy Redeemer's got no choice but to gamble now defensively. Brand could have picked up number five right there and didn't. And we got an offensive foul on Glen Lake. Rob Simple kind of lowered the shoulder and banged into the defender and picked up the offensive foul. Holy Redeemer is going to need some stops or at least some steals as they trail by seven with 2.25 to play. Back into the ball game for Redeemer, Bronson Nichols, 6'4 junior. Sellers, the hot man, knifes in through the defense, can't make it go. And Glen Lake coming the other way. Ball knocked out of bounds, was touched last by Redeemer. Jamie Mazurik, 28 points, 12 rebounds in this one. Probably not done yet. Nice pass by Mazurik. Hey, he's got a handful of assists to go along with it. Boy, what a great court presence, uh, Mark. you got to give credit to this team uh, from Maple City Glen Lake. They have just been uh, uh, extremely potent offensively here and some nice, easy backdoor cuts, as you said. It's just been things of beauty here. Well, they run a very nice patterned offense and can be disciplined, have some great shooters as well. They continue to shoot. 54, 55% throughout the entire course of this ball game. They've been shooting better than 70% from the free throw line. They protect the ball very well, and Holy Redeemer has not really been able to give them much trouble with the press. Just been a very impressive performance by the Lakers of Maple City Glen Lake. Not over yet, 159 to play, but Maple City Glen Lake with their largest lead of the ball game, nine points at 72-63. And Holy Redeemer huddled right now around Steve Benavidez, 
try to come up with some kind of strategy that will bring him back. No choice but to try and get into some kind of press. Well, exactly. they got to get the turnovers mark, but they also got to score. They've kind of been into a drought here the last couple of minutes. Have had a couple of opportunities to put some points on the board and haven't been able to do it. I believe the last three times down the court offensively, they have not scored. Well, right to the hoop. They can't make it fall, and Mazurik is there to board. And Mazurik going to dribble through the pressure. Happy to be fouled as he knows he'll get two shots and Parker will pick up the personal. We may shoot a lot of free throws in this last couple of minutes here. Well, the Lakers uh, really uh, have been potent at the free throw line and there's nobody they'd rather have at the line than Jamie Mazurik. But you're right, the uh, Lions now with no choice but to foul. They just cannot afford to let seconds tick off the clock. Jamie Mazurik, uh, should he hit this free throw, will cross the 30-point mark. And does. 30 points on his ball game's work. It's an 11-point Glen Lake lead. Redeemer going to fire up the three. It's in and out. And Mazurik there to board. Aylesworth uh, fouled by Brand. And that's number five on Bobby Brand. So Bobby Brand has fouled out. We'll send Aylesworth to the line to shoot a couple. The danger in that foul, of course, is that could easily have been called an intentional foul as well. Well, exactly. You have to be careful. They, they obviously want to foul to get the stop, the uh, clock stopped, but at the same time, it, it can't be uh, so flagrant and so intentional that uh, you lose possession of the ball after the shots uh, as well. Greg Aylesworth, 6'5", and a senior, has seven points on his ball game, now eight. The lead stretched to a dozen. Holy Redeemer's Armelius Parker. Down as they look for threes. He'll try it. Doesn't go. Try it again. Still doesn't go, and the Lakers come out ahead to Aylesworth and over his head. Boy, he was all by himself. If they'd hit him, he had the chance for the dunk that might have punctuated this ball game for Glenn Lake. But and Holy Coach, Redeemer uh, has it back. Coach Don Miller uh, urging his young men to just calm it down. They don't have to score a lot more points, do they? They're up by 12. Foul and back to the line again goes Jamie Mazurik. I'm running out of room in the book here, uh, Mark, <laughs> for uh, Jamie Mazurik. I've got more circles in here for uh, Mazurik. You've got to count on how many free throws he's shot. 17 as he steps to the line here. He is that's 15 a, of 17. That's a team's worth, isn't it? Well, that's, that's more than my senior year. <laughs> His third miss is all. And this one, yeah. It's one out of two. He's got 31 points on his ball game. He's 16 of 19 from the free throw line. It's a 13 point lead for Maple City Glen Lake. Foul down at the Holy Redeemer end. Maple City Glen Lake going to move on to the Class D state championship game where they will meet Wyoming Tri Unity Christian. That'll be a good one. Just 46 seconds remain here. And I think that 13 point lead gonna be a bit too much for Holy Redeemer to overcome. They'll shoot two, this is uh, Reginald Gardner. Sophomore. Detroit Holy Redeemer, the defenders in Class D will have made it to the final four. Great season for Steve Benavides and his ball club. Jump ball and the arrow is pointing Holy Redeemer's way. Oh. 
working hard. Somebody kind of grabs the back of a jersey to break up the fast break. Well, the Lakers had the easy two had they been able to uh, get away before the foul was called. Fouls on Armelius Parker. Three on Parker. And it's all academic now. That one's short. Rob Simple didn't get it there. Well, you can smile at this point in the ball game when you do that, but normally, state semifinal, you wouldn't like that. It's one out of two. Semple has eight on the ball game. Down to the last half minute, another triple try. Off the iron. Boy, Redeemer has fired up a bunch of triples here second half and not getting them to go. There's a short jumper by Gardner, his first field goal, three on the game. There's a foul, and Missouri will go back to the line again. 77-66, Glen Lake by 11. Still 20 seconds to play. Need a scorebook extension for Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. What a game, Coach. 31 points, 14 rebounds. 16 of 19 from the charity stripe. 7 of 13 from the field. And I am sure half a dozen rebound or assists to go along with I was going to say uh, if there's an assist total there. There is not, but uh, he's had a bunch of them. Did he uh, sweep the floor before this uh, started <laughs> out here too? Oh my, my. What, a, what a great effort tonight. Boy, a very hard worker too. Lions have uh, cleared the bench. In the ball game, uh, Jalehi, Sobush, BJ Pino. Who else? Asheen Cleveland is in for the first time. Mazurik runs his total to 33. Has 10 seconds to play. And Holy Redeemer's got to fire him up. A lot of dribbling around and not a lot of shooting. Four seconds left, and Glenn Lake can inbound and uh, watch this ball game end. Got a foul with six tenths of a second left. Asheen Cleveland will pick up the personal, and uh, Tim Zolman will step to the line. Laker crowd can stand and cheer as out of the ball game uh, by Zurich. There goes Aylesworth. And getting a little time here toward the end of the ball game. Ned Macadina. Oh, who else out on the floor? Ben Lacrosse. Sandvit, among others. 81-66, the half quarter will fall short. And Maple City Glen Lake. Great shooting, an outstanding individual performance by Jamie Mazurik. Wonderful team play, and they have knocked out the defending Class D state champions from Detroit Holy Redeemer. Maple City, Glen Lake 81, Holy Redeemer 66. Coach, final thoughts? Well, I am surprised at the tempo of the game, Mark, and the success then 
uh, for the Lakers tonight. That's just exactly uh, the opposite of what uh, I expected would have to happen in order for them to be successful. They certainly showed me different, and they are a very, very talented ball club and a very well-coached ball club and well-disciplined. There's the story of their victory tonight. Leading scores in this one, uh, Jamie Mazurik, as we mentioned, 33 for Maple City Glen Lake. Steve Sellers, the uh, 6'1 junior for Holy Redeemer, he'll be back next year with 21. Your final score again in the Class D semis. Maple City, Glen Lake, 81. Holy Redeemer, 66. For our crew from Advanced Video Services and my buddy, the old coach, Bill Brandell. I'm Mark Crawford. So long, everybody.